Thousands of culinary union members are still without a contract tonight and on the brink of a strike following yet another round of bargaining sessions with three major resort companies. The CEO of Caesars Entertainment commented on the negotiations during today's earnings call. One job should be enough. Without a contract, culinary union members' concerns continue to grow. Marvila Adami works at the Flamingo. I'm tired to fighting and don't get anything then I'm ready for the strike. In the last week, the union met with MGM Caesars International, Caesars Entertainment and Wynn Resorts. But despite those meetings and months of back and forth, there is still no contract. I'm happy to say we've made some progress, more than we made in quite a while. Unfortunately, not nearly enough. No more bargaining sessions are planned as of now. We are uh, getting ready for what uh, may be a uh, largest strike in history here. The union secretary treasurer Ted Papa George says they are preparing for a strike to happen. All the tables and chairs for all the stations and picket stations, the the porta potties and all the other items that have to be rented and bolt for 18 properties with uh, dozens of picket stations. We are preparing. In September, members voted to authorize a strike. Papa George has said without any more meetings or a contract, he could see a strike deadline being set before F1 weekend in two weeks. On an earnings call Tuesday, the CEO of Caesars Entertainment, Tom Rieg, commented on the ongoing negotiations. I'm optimistic we will reach a solution. You've heard me say before, uh, we, we have done quite well as a company post-merger, post-pandemic. Our employees should and will participate in that. He also said members will get the largest raise they have seen in the past four decades. A release from Caesars stated there was no timing on when an agreement would be reached and also stated a lengthy strike would have a negative impact on business. Meanwhile, the Culinary Union continues to watch employees of Detroit casinos in their sister union. The Detroit Casino Council continue to strike. Tuesday, they took to the state's capital, pushing for support from lawmakers. We're demanding fairness, we're demanding change, and we're going to get it. Union! Now it is a waiting game to see if resort properties in Las Vegas will come to an agreement or if a strike will be called.